doing amazing. How are you doing this evening? I'm good, man. Just trying to enjoy the game. All right, so we're kicking off right now the second round of the Junior Basketball Association. And as you can see, we've got your two brothers making their debut of playing together. How do you feel about that? I'm happy for them. Um, you know, it's the biggest win that we had so far. So obviously the league is growing. And I feel like Jello coming to the league definitely helped it a lot. But uh, I'm just happy for them to be playing again, you know, together. You know, I love playing with them. But just to see them, they'll put a smile on my face. For sure. How much... Watching them two play together, how much do you feel like, man, I wish I was out there with them? Like I said, man, uh, it was like the funnest basketball when I was playing in high school with them, man. Um, you know, people you grow up with, when you get on the court with them and play with them, you know, the chemistry, you know, you're never going to find that again. So just watching them two and kind of reminiscing how it used to be when we were all on the court, it's pretty crazy to see. Definitely. Um, I've, I've heard you say it multiple times, if, if this opportunity was there for you, this would have been something you would have looked at. Right. How, how do you feel about these guys right now? To be honest, you know, if I was them, I'd just be giving them my all. You know, um, this, is a, this is a platform like no other. You're getting paid to play basketball, you know, um, doing what you love. And um, like I said, you get to play basketball year-round. You know, um, you're not going to beat that. In school, you got to focus on school and things. Some people, ooh, that was nice. Um, that was a block right there. You know, the other people need um, different different ways to get follow their dreams. And I feel like this is a good way to do it. That's something that even in the comments, we've had a lot of folks talk about. Um, the NBA is talking about changing different right. the age requirements for that. And uh, how is that going to affect the Junior Basketball Association? Do you see any trickle-down effect? Um... I think the JBA forced the NBA to put the age back lower, if anything. You know, I think the JBA is kind of going to force them at one point to have kids come out of high school again because you're going to lose those kids. Instead of college, you're going to come here and get paid. It only makes sense. You know, once once um, it gets going and you got some kids that have to make it to the league from here, um, personally, I think it's just a better decision because, you know, you get to focus on your craft a lot more than you can at school. Facts. That's uh, one of the things that I was saying. I think the more opportunities there is to play professional, the better basketball will continue to right. see. Because it's just, it's just more opportunity, you know, and you'll have kids that say, why am I going to school when I want to go to the NBA anyway? Exactly. You know, I want to go to school for for one year. I'm not, I'm not going to stay for four. Why am I going? So, um, you know, obviously it's going to open up different outlets. Definitely. Uh, so you, you've been at a lot of these games. Do you have any favorite players so far? Um... I wouldn't say favorite players. You know, every team does have, you know, a couple of gyms on them for sure. But, um, you know, I personally connected to the Atlantis team just because I picked them. So, yes, yeah. you know, I'm a big Atlanta supporter right now. Obviously, my brothers play for the L.A. team and everything, but I picked Atlanta. So, um, uh, they are still undefeated, so they're doing pretty good yeah, right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nigel Chaney, have you seen him shooting uh, from the outside? I call, I call him Sniper Jones. Sniper uh, right, Jones. right when he walked in the gym, he took, he took three shots, all threes, all net. Yeah. I put him on the team immediately, and uh, he's been doing his thing out here for sure. You, you, you're right. You picked that uh, Atlanta team, and we've adopted some of those nicknames. Right, right, right. Uh, Big Jelly. Big does. Jelly. Yeah. Uh, uh, Baby Glove. Baby Glove, 94 feet. I saw going to pick you up the whole game. And uh, Fion as well. Uh, they have a bunch of dogs on that team, man. You know, I like the way they play. They play hard and play together. Uh, that's one of the big questions we were talking about, right? We keep saying there's a bunch of dogs in this league. Yeah. The Chicago team says that they want to play and be dogs. Can you, what does that mean to you? What is a dog? What does that embody? You don't bat down. What does that mean to you? What is a dog? What does that embody? You don't bat down for nobody. And you play hard. And you play to win. You know, uh, like I said, going back to Atlanta, just th those guys made the team because, you know, when it was tryouts, they, it wasn't like, oh, we're in the gym, we're in the high school gym trying out. We're like, nah, you, you came here to get it, and um, that's what happened. You, know, you can see that by the way they play. And they have a couple of dudes on Chicago as well, uh, you know, Kizo, uh, Lyles, who actually go hard, you know, all the time. So definitely got a lot of dogs in this league, but, um, you know, the thing is sometimes when you get too many on one team, it's hard to, it's hard to coach them. Yes. So that's, that's the thing they got to learn, you know, to play together, play the right way. It's one of the things I always say, when you get a bunch of dogs out here, yeah. you throw that bone out there. Exactly. They all going to want to go for it. Exactly. But, uh, Somebody going to get bit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But um, there's always going to be some tension no matter what, you know, when you have so many good players on one court. But um, once they figure out how to play together and stuff, they'll be okay. For sure. What do you... As, as an NBA player, and these guys are aspiring to that, do you have any like, words of wisdom? Uh, hold on, let's listen to the Philadelphia coach here. And then we not block it out. They're getting second shots, throwing it up on the glass, doing everything they wanted to. Once again, let's work on progression. You know, realistically, if you fell down, you're still in this game. But you guys won't make no stops. You ain't making any stops. Gotta make some stops. And you're tired. You gotta go. Let's go. Yeah, after watching 
that clip too, I want to shout out to the coaches. You know, um, just a quick hit on them. You know, they don't have to be here, they don't have to be doing this, but they're helping shape these kids both on and off the court. And that means a lot. You know, um, not for just the organization, but for the kids, you know, themselves and their lives. But um, yeah, I mean, this this game's crazy. You know? yeah. Just being in the NBA, I know it's hard playing. You know, this this uh, length of the court with this style. You know, only eight guys. I know that's definitely difficult. So definitely. for them, I would say just just keep playing hard and take practice serious. Yeah. You know, you gonna get better in practice, and obviously you can showcase your talents in the game. For sure, for sure. All right, I got one last question for you. Is there anybody in the JBA right right now who you'd love to see next year suiting up in that purple and gold with the Los Angeles Lakers? <laughs> obviously, just off the top of my head, my brother right now, but um. I think the, um, when they pick that team to go overseas, you know, you're going to find you're gonna find out who's really, really about it out there. For, for sure. sure. For sure. Man, I want to thank you for sitting down with no me, problem, man. man. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. I'm sure everybody in the comments section right now <laughs> is going crazy. Uh, shout out to everybody in the comments, man. Thank you for supporting the league. Appreciate it. All right, yo.